Okay, Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. So now we look at the last deviation from Mendel inheritance. Okay, so the last deviation is about polygenes or we call as polygenic inheritance. Okay, so what is polygen? Okay, so first of all, a character is controlled by the cumulative effect of more than one gene. So this is the definition of polygenes. Poly means many. Maksudnya, a character, satu character, it can be controlled by a cumulative effect of more than one gene. Lebih daripada satu gene untuk satu character. Okay, so it will occur when one trait controlled by two or more genes. Okay, usually by many genes at different loci on different chromosome. Okay, so let's see if you look at this trigram here. So dekat sini kita ada, okay, the first chromosome it will carry allele. Uh, capital A, capital A and then this is it will carry capital B allele and also this one, the pair here, it will carry also capital B. Okay, and then the next one, uh, this chromosome will carry capital C allele and the next, the last chromosome here, it will also carry capital C allele. So, kalau awak tengok dari segi genotype, okay, for this one, it will become A besar, A besar, B besar, B besar, C besar, C besar. So, how many genes for this character? Dia akan ada tiga gene. Uh, which are gene A, gene B and also gene C. Uh, so, this is what we call as polygenes. Maksudnya, a character can be controlled by more than one gene. Lebih daripada satu gene. So, kalau kita compare dengan Mendelian inheritance, so usually a trait ataupun a character is controlled by only one gene sahaja. Contohnya kalau kita ambil contoh uh, for the flower color, purple color and also white color kan. Okay. So untuk purple flower color it will be controlled by gene T sahajalah. Maksudnya untuk gene for flower color sama ada dia ada dominant allele ataupun recessive allele. Maksudnya gene nya cuma ada satu. Tapi kalau kita compare dengan polygenes, okay. Untuk setiap character tu maybe it will be controlled by more than one gene. Okay. And then for polygene it could result in bell shaped curve okay or we call as normal distribution among members of a population so what is the example of inheritance okay that shows polygene contohnya adalah inheritance of skin color weight and also high in human okay and then what you have to take note okay for polygenic inheritance or polygene it could be affected by environmental factor okay so uh, let's look at the example uh, for the polygenes. Okay, so example diberi dekat sini adalah inheritance of skin color. So actually polygene is a quantitative variation. So means that kita boleh ukur. Okay, uh, maksudnya variation yang kita boleh measure ataupun ukur. So skin color is classified on a scale of shade. So macam mana kita nak ukur skin color adalah berdasarkan oleh kepada dia punya skala lah. Okay, skala warna ataupun kita kata tone, tone warna. Okay. Of the skin color. And then skin color in human is controlled by three gene. Uh, so that's why kenapa skin color. Okay is the example of the polygene. Because skin color. So skin color ni adalah dia punya character. Ataupun trait is controlled by three genes. Lebih daripada satu gene. Uh, so what are the genes? Gene A, gene B and also gene C. So let's say we considered capital A, capital B and capital C allele. Okay so kalau dia punya. Uh, kita kata alphabetnya semuanya adalah Capital letter, okay, maksudnya dia akan represent dark skin allele. Why? Untuk small a, small b and small c allele, okay, so all of this allele will represent light skin allele. Okay, and then each allele contribute same unit of dark or fair skin. Maksudnya yang ni kita panggil sebagai cumulative effect, okay, to show the phenotype of the skin color here. Okay, so contohnya kalau kita ambil dekat sini, kalau capital A, capital B and capital C, it will represent one unit. Small a, small b and small c, it will represent half unit. Okay, so bila berlaku combination of the allele here, so let's say, kalau semuanya allele dia adalah dominant, maksudnya a besar, a besar, b besar, b besar, c besar, c besar. Okay, kalau awak tengok based on the unit here, semuanya akan represent one unit. So, satu, 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 so akan jadi six unit lah. Ha, so, dia punya phenotype akan jadi the darkest. Nah, based on dia skin color. Kalau A besar, A besar, B besar, B besar, C kecil, C kecil. So, bila awak uh, 
kumpulkan dari segi unitnya awak tambahkan dari segi dia punya unit so dia akan jadi 5 uh, so 5 is quite dark and then A besar A kecil B besar B kecil C besar C kecil ok so awak akan dapat 4 and half ok ataupun 4.5 ok so dia punya phenotype akan jadi intermediate ok and then A besar A besar B besar eh sorry B kecil B kecil C kecil C kecil ok so you will get 4 unit ok so 4 unit is quite fair as well as the Uh, this one yang ni pun quite fair sebab dia adalah 4, 4 unit ok and then kalau awak tengok for the next one A besar A kecil B kecil B kecil C kecil C kecil so we'll get 3 and half unit ok so the skin color is fair and then kalau awak tengok kalau misalnya semua LL ni adalah small letter ataupun recessive so you will get 3 unit only ok so means that the skin color is the fairest ok so this is what we call as a polygene ok